Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is August 31st, 2019. This is my 17th episode about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation. In our previous episode, episode 16, we learned how to read, load, and write or save general string. If you haven't watched this video, please watch this video because my current session continues from my previous video. If you haven't watched this video, you may not be able to follow this session. Also, if you want to learn more about C Sharp programming for desktop application using Windows Presentation Foundation, please watch this series of videos. In this episode, we will learn how to load Gemmar in Windows Presentation Foundation programming. More specifically, we will learn how to use Gemmar resource in Windows Presentation Foundation programming. We will also use URI and name property of a control and how to find a control in the Gemmar resource. I highly recommend you to read this book. I believe application equals code plus markup. This book by Charles Fetchold is the best resource to learn Windows Presentation Foundation programming. Without further ado, let's get started. Start Visual Studio 2019. Go to File, New, Project, select C Sharp Language, Platform, Windows, Project Type, Desktop. If you scroll down, you can find empty project.net framework. Click next. Project name will be load gemmer. Solution name will be load gemmer solution. Click create. Right click references, add references, select Microsoft C Sharp, Windows Presentation Core. Windows Presentation Framework, scroll down, System, scroll down, System Windows, scroll down, System Gemmar, System XML, scroll down, Windows Base, click OK. Right click the project, load XML. Right click, add new item, select data, select XML file, name it stack panel dot gemmer. Please change the extension to gemmer. Click add. Right click the stack panel gemmer, right click properties. Go to Build Action, change it to Resource. This step is very important. Now save the files. Right click Road Gemmer once again, add new item, select code, code file, Load Gemmer. Click Add. We added two files, loadgemmer.cs, stackpanel gemmer. In the stackpanel, we will delete this part, stackpanel, like this, make room like this, xml, ns, http, colon, schemas microsoft.com winfx2006 gemmar presentation we create a button and we will name the button name my button please understand that this property plays important role so please remember this button button name, this name property, with 100, height, 50, and the title will be 
hello, Gemmar, resource. Now we will add one more element, ellipse, like this, with 200 height, 100 stroke, red stroke thickness 10. If you zoom out, you can see something like this. Here, list box with 100 height 100. List box item Sunday copy it faced, 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 faced. Modify it to Monday T U E S D A Y Tuesday W E D N E S D A Y Wednesday T H U R S D A Y Thursday Friday S A T U R D A Y Saturday. If you zoom out, it looks like this. Now I will put some margin here in the button margin twenty. Also in ellipsis margin twenty and list box margin twenty. So it will look like this. Please note that the root element is stack panel. Now save it. Open load CS file namespace. Talk play fun and over namespace talk play fun using Windows system Windows using controls system Windows controls using IO system IO using markup system windows markup class my window windows window and over class my window public my window this is constructor system STA thread static void main bar app new windows application we create an instance of application app run new my window so we created the function main like this now here this Title Load Gemmer Resource Step 1 We create an instance of URI Bar URI New System URI We provide like this Fact Colon application colon please remember this syntax then three commas then forward slash then this stack panel general file end stack panel general okay please remember this syntax select system URI press F1 then it will open in your web browser, URI constructor will open. Scroll up, then you can read more about URI class. I will copy this link for your reference. Step 2, we create resource stream info using URI like this bar resource stream info windows application get resource stream we provide uri get resource stream 
function is a static member of application. It returns stream resource info. I say stream resource info. Step 3 extract stream from stream resource info for stream stream resource info stream. This is a property. Step 4 load the stream and convert it to framework element for framework element markup general reader load stream as windows framework element now this contains framework element find my button from the framework element please understand that we define this my button in this stack panel we are trying to find this element this button element like this bar button framework element find the name my button it returns an object an instance of object so we have to type cast to controls button if button not null button click button clicked now we define button clicked member function this is event here void button clicked object sender windows routed event arg e i talked about routed event in our previous episode and i will deal with routed event in some future episode for button as equal e source as controls button if button not null for message button button contents clicked windows message box show msg now right click the road general project name properties output type windows application now save all you can close it now control f5 so our application is loaded like this if we click it then button hello general resource clicked if you haven't watched my previous videos about windows presentation foundation this session can be quite challenging in my youtube channel playlist c -sharp programming if you follow the this series of videos starting 01 hello c -sharp, up to this video up to 16th episode you can understand this episode if you haven't watched my previous episode my current session can be quite challenging i highly recommend you watch this series of videos in the order of list i will upload the complete source code to c -sharp talkplayfun.com website by the time you watch this video you can click this link and download the complete source code if you unzip the downloaded file under class windows desktop applications folder you can find the complete source code please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for watching